future man it's always like you are always going to predict it wrong <laughs> so yesterday i was watching this movie what was it blade runner blade runner 2049 and uh, if you look at how much different you look at future from today it's kind of crazy like 2049 is close enough you're going to see me doing space cast in 2049 as well if i'm alive hopefully now <laughs> it's not going to be much different so in that movie what they have tried to say or show is that there are no trees anymore the water is super scarce so if you look at the pacific ocean it's all dried up and uh, there's there's no tree there's no wood animals like dogs and cats and horses are scarcity and uh, super expensive because they are so rare no and also there are places where atom bombs have dropped now that i can live with <laughs> like it is completely understandable or feasible that atom bombs are dropped although i hope not but understandable but what i don't understand are flying cars moving like jets and then landing on the earth all of a sudden and uh, human genetics or human human what we call genetic mutation or people are putting chips on humans and making clones not really something that i see will happen in such a near, near future now if you really have to look at how much we mispredict future you just have to look out look at our past predictions for example have any one of you watched that movie trilogy back to future the funniest part about that is that that dude comes to 2015 30 years in future from 1985 and finds flying cars everywhere finding out the suits that itself adjusts to your body and dries itself and how about all the places people are flying none of that happened 7 years ago in 2015 and i'm thinking that it won't happen 15 years later as well we are terrible at predicting future does not really work like that so uh <laughs> if if you ask me ashish how is 2049 going to look like pretty much like this because how was 1985 looking like well people were driving cars there were airplanes people moving from one place to another flying from one place to another people were telecasting their shows on radio now people are telecasting their shows as podcast and people can watch it or listen to it throughout the world can also watch it uh, but if you look at it the core definitely looks the same for example if you look at london in in and even 1960 I know a lot of cities that do not look that well developed even till this day. So you can't really say that we are going to develop so much. And also there was another movie it is released recently on Netflix Project something something. Ryan Reynolds is in that that and over there it shows that 2049 you have developed time machine. Huh. <laughs> that out also i do not know but if it was developed some say that it is developed you just don't know about it well it, if it was developed you will probably know about it because people are thirsty thirsty and greedy they are going to make some technology out of it.